There are three transformation tools I'd like to show you in this video that can be very useful. The first one is Rotate. I'll select this piece of text and I can either choose the Rotate tool from the toolbar here or just push R on the keyboard. Now I can either do this on the canvas and rotate this by eye. We could also rotate this with a little bit more granular control right up here. The drop down list gives us some predefined rotations that we can choose from and then click rotate or we can type it in as we so desire. This also gives us the option to copy that rotation just like our smart duplicate feature. Using the rotate tool gives you another way of controlling how the rotation behaves. There's a little orange crosshair right in the middle of my object or shape once you select the rotate tool. And by changing that, you'll change the anchor point at which the rotation begins to take place. So if I move it down to the corner, you can see that I can rotate this anchored to that selected point. I can also use the copy right up here to duplicate that rotation over and over again. Similarly, using the scale tool will give you more control than just using the move tool. For example, if I try to scale text just with the move tool, grabbing one of the corner handles, you can see it just disappears. And what's happening is it's just scaling the text box, not the text itself. So if I press S on the keyboard, I can scale this text as well as the text box container. I get the same granular controls that I can type in up here at the top by percentages. And these can be independent horizontally and vertically, which means I can squash or stretch my object or text. So if I wanted to put in exactly 50% scale, I can type that in in my H, which is horizontal, and V, vertical, and then press scale. So I can get exactly half the size of my original. And like with the rotation tool, we can choose to copy that scale over and over and over again, giving us smaller and smaller versions. The scale tool also has an anchor point that you can change and will scale from that selected point. So now if I choose to scale this back up to 200%, it scales from the anchor point that I selected, not from the center. The shear tool can shear or skew your objects, text, or anything that you have selected. Again, we get the granular controls in our top menu up here. And we can also copy that transformation just like the smart duplicate feature. We can also do it by dragging. With the shear tool selected, now we can drag on our object and we can hold shift to constrain the shearing to either horizontal axis or vertical axis to give us a little bit more control. This can be applied to text, shapes, or even groups. So here I have some objects inside of a group. I'll press Shift S on the keyboard. And then holding Shift, I'm just gonna give this a vertical shear, just like that. Try the Rotate, Scale, and Shear tools in Autodesk Graphic and see what you can do with them. Thanks for watching.